assalamu alaikum in this lecture we will look at already created routes as you can see that we have login registration and logout routes but at this moment even if we are login we can access our register our registration page this is not good if we are already login then we must not have access to the registration page in this lecture we will restrict some of the pages if we are already login so let's go to our routes these are our routes and we have already created a middleware in previous lecture which is admin and in this admin middleware we can access only admin page and here are the register and login and logout routes logout route is very safe because it only receives post requests so open up terminal and let's create a middleware php artisan make middleware and let's name it visitors visitors middleware so it created a middleware for us Let's go to the folder of middleware where we have this visitors middleware and you know where we register our middleware so let's go to let's open this kernel.php file in http folder and duplicate this line and we will change this admin to visitors and this admin middleware to visitors middleware So we have registered our middleware. Now in middleware use sentinel because we are using sentinel and let's create a condition for visitors that if sentinel check we are checking that if the user is login or not if the user is not login so we will use this not symbol exclamation so if the user is not login so proceed with the request else we direct to the home url it means that registration and login pages will only appear if the user is not login so now let's create a group route for visitors route group middleware and the name of our middleware is visitors and let's cut all of these four urls from here to our group and let's cut this post logout route to here Now we have completed our visitors middleware in which we have registered and login pages. So in this way we can create multiple middlewares and can perform our application routes. So now let's check this in browser. if we log in our user and try to access our login url then it will throw back us to home url and if we try to access register url then it will also throw us to home url if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel So thank you for watching this lecture I will see you in the next one take care bye bye